This is the ProDrive P25, a resto mod conceived as the ultimate Subaru Impreza road car and produced to celebrate 25 years since ProDrive built the first Subaru Impreza World Rally car back in 1997. In fact, they say that this is a WRC car for the road, which is a pretty big claim to live up to. These films are brought to you by the Haggerty Drivers Club, so if you'd like to support their creation, please have a think about joining up. To read about the myriad benefits like a magazine and roadside assistance, just click on the link in the description down below. Now, this is the huge ProDrive factory in Banbury, where I wanted to have a look behind the scenes to see what exactly elevates the P25 over and above other Imprezas because I've been lucky enough to drive P1s, 22Bs, RB5s and Spec Cs and this hasn't exactly strayed far from those aesthetically. However, this puts them all in the shade from a pure hardware standpoint, as it jolly well should for over £550,000. This is a carbon fibre rear wing, but it's not the only thing on the P25 that's made out of the black woven stuff. Oh no, we have the door mirror casings and the roof and the bonnet, and the boot, and the front and rear quarters, and the bumpers, and the sill. And all in all, this weighs 1150 kilos there or thereabouts, meaning that it's about 100 kilos lighter than 22B, or 145 kilos lighter than a P1. Other things that set it apart? Well, there's ProDrive's own six-speed sequential gearbox, the hydraulic handbrake, the bespoke suspension, and the engine, a brand new ProDrive built EJ25 2.5 litre boxer with forged pistons, steel conrods, porter cylinder heads, new valve seats and an Akrapovich titanium exhaust. With the Garrett turbo blowing hard, it produces 450 bhp and 442 pounds foot, which is 175 brake horsepower more than a 22B or P1 and over 100 brake horsepower up even on the modern WRX STI S209. But over and above many other resto mods, you're also paying for these people and their history. You're paying, for example, for the knowledge that your engine has been assembled by Tony Horton, who also put together Colin and Richard's flat fours. And for the knowledge that a chap called Sebastian gave the thumbs up to the damper settings. But before we get too swept up in a swell of 90s and noughties rallying nostalgia, we need to be objective. Like assessing a Speedmaster without mentioning the moon, I need to put aside my fanboy bobble hat and assess this creation purely on its dynamic driving merits. When you first get in this in road mode and you just want to kind of potter around, use it fairly normally, the things you notice are, well, the clutch, straight away, because it's an electric clutch, so it's not really connected to anything, there's just a spring there, which is kind of weird. It's very light, but actually very easy to use as well. It's like a Carrera GT, you don't need any throttle at all, it's got anti-stall, so you just ease away. And then there's this gearbox, this sequential gearbox, here for cut gears just to try and tame some of the noise and then one big paddle here so you pull it towards you to go up a gear and then just flick it away to go down it's very easy to get used to if you're used to two paddles then of course sometimes just to start with you will go for a phantom paddle here the gearbox in road mode it's not refined exactly but you can as long as you're on sort of just a nice tickling amount of throttle. It's actually pretty smooth. It will look after you. Other things you notice straight away when you get into this, so the view out, obviously it's an older car. And so yeah, the visibility is fantastic. I love these little ears for door mirrors down here. And of course we've got the big bonnet scoop up there, so you know exactly what you're in. There's no forgetting that. This is an Impreza. The interior is the work of Callum Design, and like the outside, it's a subtle tweak. 
that primarily ensures you're touching alcantara, metal and carbon where once there might have been scratchy plastic. More modern touches include a simple screen for Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, a wireless charging pad and a digital dash complete with some slightly retro graphics in certain modes. You get three choices of seat in the front, these reclining buckets are the middle option, and customers can also opt for rear seats instead of the cage. Overall, I like the focused simplicity, summed up by the uncluttered, perfectly round wheel, but I also like the fact that it still feels the right side of stripped out to still be usable. Although you've obviously got the noises, the clonks and clanks and clanks from the drivetrain, on a nice flowing bit of A-road, you can mooch along actually. But this is not really a car for mooching, for daily driving, for imitating an Audi TT. The ride at lower speeds is tough and firm as you can see. The bill signs are far too good to be harsh or crashy, but it's not relaxing. The P25 is always crying out for a bit of pace to reveal the damper's magic. You've got three settings for the drivetrain and it wants you to use all of them. Turns in like this. So in sport, you've got the full 100% locking for the centre diff. The way to drive this is to turn it and get on the throttle early, really drive it through the corner. And you want to stay on the throttle, let the drivetrain help you through. Brake hard, big brakes, lots of progression. Drive through. You feel it kicking around underneath you, but just stay with it. What a car! It feels so fast as well. With the short gearing and monster traction, it punches well above what its power and torque figures might suggest. ProDrive claims 0 to 60 in under 3 seconds, and it certainly feels that quick. Stopping it all are unassisted AP racing brakes with huge 380mm discs at the front. You can even see your real time brake pressure on the data screen. Fan the brakes are on servo on this and there's no ABS, can sound a bit sort of nerve-wracking, but there's really nothing to fret about. There's so much power, so much progression in that pedal. And if you want to left foot brake, of course you can, because you don't need the clutch other than when you come to a standstill. And it seems like this road car thing might be something ProDrive will continue with. Maybe next they should do an older Impreza four-door, complete with unequal length headers for that distinctive sound. But back to P25, because there is one more mode left, Sport Plus, which summons up anti-lag. And that takes things to yet another level. Oh. The response now is ridiculous. So in the other modes, it does keep a bit of boost pressure in there, but this ramps it all the way up. This is the full experience. Wow, if you've never experienced anti-lag, <laughs> you must do. It's one of the great things in life. It is an absolute animal. It's, it's so rabid. It attacks the road. This P25 then works when viewed purely as a performance car. If you were unaware of the history, had never heard of an Impreza before, and you drove this, you would be exhilarated and delighted. But this is not just a car, is it? This is Rally, this is McRae, Burns, Kankanen, this is flat over crest, six left, slippy maybe. This is the Manx, Tour de Course. It's everything I love about motorsport. It makes me long for Subaru to come back to the WRC, bring Brandon Semnuk over from the ARA, team him up with Oliver Solberg. This is a rally car for the road, and I love it. I absolutely love it. I've been lucky enough to drive some WRC cars, to drive, well, really the car that this is based on, the WRC 97, and this brings it all back. There's so much of that car in here. This is unlike any other Impreza road car. So unlike any other. 
This isn't just a 22B or P1 developed to the next stage, it is a genuine full-blown WRC car that has somehow been smartened up and civilised enough to make it pass as a road car more than a competition car. It will still be too raw and intense for some, but it's an experience unlike anything else on sale. I think in the end it's summed up by this sound. If selecting first gear makes you wince and think something is broken, then this is not the car for you. But if that distinctive prelude makes your spine tingle, then you'll love the P25. <laughs>